Welcome back, everyone. As a quick review, last class we talked about how most of the chemistry and energy transfer we encounter in our lives is determined by the interaction between electrons. So today we'll talk about how the spin of those electrons creates magnetism. There's a lot to cover, so pay attention and let me know if you have any questions. Antiferromagnetic materials also include metals like chromium, iron, and manganese. These materials have small positive magnetic susceptibilities, so they are only weakly attracted to external magnetic fields. At an atomic level, their electron spins appear similar to those of ferromagnets, but the magnetic moments align in a regular pattern with neighboring spins pointing in opposite directions. Ferromagnetic materials exhibit a long range ordering phenomenon at the atomic level, which causes the unpaired electron spins to line up parallel with each other. Magnets are usually made of a group of metals, such as nickel, cobalt, or iron, that are called the ferromagnetic metals. Ferromagnets have a maximum temperature where the magnetic ordering disappears as a result of thermal excitation. This temperature is called the Curie temperature. Magnets, 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 magnets. The needle of a compass is a permanent magnet while a paperclip is not. The paperclip only retains its poles while it is inside a magnetic field. 